backlinks still do play a role um, in voice, believe it or not. They're, it's just not as prominent as a local or a, a traditional SEO. Voice, I think you have to really think about what would you ask something and then you want to have that exact the way you asked it on your page. And, and it sounds simple, but do it. That's the hard part for everybody, I notice, is we talk to people all day, all week about these strategies. I come back a month later and they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna do that this weekend. But uh, So they don't get around to doing it a lot of times. And I get asked a lot when I do speeches, uh, like I did a spe uh, at Facebook this year. And uh, it was for the automotive industry and it was pretty intimidating, you know. I, I don't know these people in Toronto, it's a bigger market. and. So they asked me, a couple of the students came up to me at intermission, they're like, Mike, why are you telling us like your secrets, like what you're doing? And my answer was simple. I just said, because you're not going to do it. And uh, it's as simple as that too, right? I think lots of people have good ideas, um, but they don't execute on them. And if you think about your website traffic now, it's probably one of the number one uh, ways you're growing or doing business now, um, besides your social. like the floor traffic coming in. It's much easier for people to interact with you and find you on the web. So you should be playing this game. And I say game because it does change. It's a moving goalpost. So it just says you line up your field goal and you think you got one, uh, they did an update. And so now you've got to readjust. And, and that's what this is. And it'll always be that way. You can count on that. It, it's a changing, evolving product. I honestly believe in within 10 years, people won't be going to your websites. I think everything's gonna happen right there um, on the page of Google or on the voice response. I don't think it's gonna be, you're getting video answers now pushed to your uh, feeds where you've seen Gary Vee answering video stuff. It says Google search video because he answered a question. So you're gonna see more and more of this, um, these search engines actually not driving traffic to your website. And that's probably been one of the biggest complaints about position zero is as good as and cool as that is to be there, people don't need to click through because everything's right there, right? So they're like, oh, okay, I got my answer. And so they don't go to your website. So there's a danger in that as well. Um, and I don't think Google has um, that figured out yet as to, you know, they're aware of it, but I don't know what they would do to counter that. So, you know, as long as they keep changing things, I think it's your job as a business owner, more and more um, agencies are, are good they, they are good to deal with because they, uh, you know, they're in the trenches. They're staying up to date on best practices. But I think as a business owner, you should be as well. Um, so you can keep them honest and, and make sure you understand what the work that they are doing for you. Because it's super confusing. It's like another language. I mean, if I'm good at uh, HVAC and heating, I made my bread and butter off this business. My forte is, you know, fixing your, your pipes and your, your, your furnace. It's not ranking on Google or marketing, probably primarily, right? So they always lean on somebody. But now you can't do that. Uh, I just, I feel like you have to be just as smart or savvy as the people that you're paying to do the work. Um, it's, it's really important. And it's going to get more and more important. There's so much wasted money out there. And I attribute that to the small business, big business owners, they don't know how to keep it honest. They don't know how to ask those questions. They don't even understand where they're wasting the money half the time. And unfortunately, um, I've seen it too many times where agencies are feeding you a monthly report that you know shows KPIs and metrics that may be favorable to you keeping the check going, as opposed to what's my actual business objective and are we hitting them? So I think if you're a small business owner out there, the time of putting your head in the sand is over. You really need to get up and take control of your data. Data is going to be the, like in five years. <laughs> I keep saying five years, it might be sooner, but I mean, data now, we're making data-driven decisions in marketing. Um, you guys probably are as well. And if you're not, you should be because gut feelings and you know, projections and, and things like that are kind of, you don't need to. You have the tools and resources now to make those decisions. And there's so many free courses out there. I mean, if you're a business owner, you're probably thinking, where do I start? This is daunting. I'm so far behind. What's the point, right? Um, and in fact, it's just, it's actually, you're at the crossroads right now. 
um, where I do believe if you don't do something, you will be so far behind that it will be hard to catch up. But I think if you got in now and you dug your feet in and you start just asking the questions like, what am I spending and what am I getting? Like start there, have a look at it and are you happy? And we deal with clients all the time that, you know, they don't understand what they want. They, they say, well, what are they doing? Or what's my competitor doing? Or how did they do this? So, you know, a lot of times they don't even have, you know, what they want or they're not clear about it. And, and that's dangerous. So I think that comes back from the whole, you need to get educated on what's out there, what's being used and what your consumers are using. I think more importantly, you know, you may not need to be on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, if your clients are never there or that's not how you are getting business. So if you don't even understand that at a basic uh, level, I mean, how could you possibly, you know, improve your business or grow it? And, and you know, I think that's the age old adage is you can't measure what you, you can't grow what you can't measure. Nobody knows your business better than you. Okay. And now is the time. Uh, to take some action, get in front of your data, get in front of your tools, get your agency, bring them in for a meeting, find out what's going on. It's 2019 in a month, less than a month. Um, don't put this off any longer. Uh, what you don't do today, you're gonna wish you did in one year from now. And I highly encourage you guys to get out in front of your business and, and make something happen this year.